Hi you guys, welcome back and if you are new here, my name is Noemi. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to make a home a little bit more cozy even if we are a minimalist because a uh, lot of you had this question. So I can only speak from what I feel and what I like and so many people have different tastes but I'm going to share with you what makes me feel cozy at home and I think it can add some warmth to the minimalist style and I definitely like something that is more simple because it is less of a maintenance and that's what I'm aiming for. I love cleaning my home but it's because it's simple to clean, it's very easy to clean but I also like to just curl up with a book and I like to be stress-free when as soon as I open the door I just want to feel that vacuum feeling and that's my goal with this home to everybody feel home so I'm going to show you and point out a few things and explain what why is it make us feel better so one of the thing that I like to do and of course I don't do this too often but once in a while I like to buy some flowers because I can't keep alive other plants <laughs> so i actually started to recently this was for a birthday occasion i really enjoy to buy some flower and i know it sounds kind of a luxury so i don't really buy it too often but around springtime when we have seven months of rain behind us <laughs> i'm still buying a flower okay let's start here in the living room we have white color on the wall and i love that that was our goal that was our plan to have a white wall because of this lots of rain we have so many clouds and dark days like today and this reflects light and also the floor is gray so to warm up this room i used wooden tones and wooden furnitures and i just have an unexplainable love for wooden things but what i realized this color it's really on the other side of the coat palette it's more like a warm tone so it definitely helps this room feel more warmer and also the other thing that warms up a room that would be the plants and these are not real ones these are artificial ones because this is a super dark corner and this is the darkest area in our home this is faces towards to north but with this plant no matter if it's artificial or whatever you can keep alive definitely warms up the place and this one is a real one and it seems happy so i am going to quickly demonstrate to you what's the difference when i don't have this green color in here with the plants So you can already see how bare it is now and it only needed three to four plants just the little ones to make it more life so now it's kind of like a cold vibe to it so i'm going to quickly add back and you can see the difference so this is the difference i don't know if you can feel it but i feel it it's so much lifelike when it has a plant and i wish i could represent you without the wooden tone but <laughs> that would be way too much of a moving okay we are in the kitchen now i'm applying the same rules here especially because we got this backsplash that is basically the same thing as our floor but both of them is gray and we already have this very square-ish style and just a very clear lines uh, with the cabinets so a wooden tune will warm it up and a big plant in the back and i just picked one so it's a one statement for this room to have some greenery in there okay so for this area <laughs> this is the cheapest decor that you can go yet it is the most effective and that is just to cut off some branch from the backyard if you have if you don't you can ask a friend who has but it's just very simple and it survives 
for sometimes for a week or two it depends on the kind i have this for like four or five days and you can see how different it looks even with the wooden tune but the green it's a staple and i don't generally like the green color i have to tell you this i'm not really a fanatic about green color but in that case if it's a plant i love it and i really truly miss it in a room if it doesn't have one and another tricky way to decorate to find object to decorate with that is actually has some kind of a purpose and that can be a box or a basket and in that case i think i scored my coolest find ever in a second hand store if you are on instagram and following me there you already have seen it so i find this wooden i'm not even sure what to call it wooden thing <laughs> but it's something that i can put down as flat and i can just put a hot pot on it and also i can just open it into a basket so i can put things in there i can put pears or if i want to go with that design or i can put apples in there but i just find it very fun even if i just look at it, it's a very fun design so i really love that for this area this is the extension for my pantry i keep all my snacks up there and it can be exposed to the lights because generally it's not recommended to put out anything in the jars because it gets light and it loses the, the flavor and all the nutrition but in that case you guys this is gonna be there only for a couple of days because my family is like a wood chipper they would eat everything back to the decor um in this area again i picked the wooden color the wood tone and also i let the fruit do the job the food itself this is my favorite thing in my plain kitchen that is just all a blend color is just gray and white and the food does the talking that will be a focal point in the kitchen the food that's the first thing that you're going to see because it has a bright color and i also really love the baskets and these are totally inexpensive and those up there too as well so i bought these for the summer time when we're going to have lots of fruits from the farmers market and i can do jam and all kinds of fun things so these are all from goodwill and wayu village so it's an amazing source for that they always have one every time i go there to buy something similar than this or this basket they always have one and it's very cheap and i do definitely think it makes my home cozy if i have food on display i don't know why i can't explain it but if i have food in the oven or i have food on display it just makes me very happy okay you guys so we are in the bathroom as you guessed i just want to point out again the green thing it's just a very very simple i just bought this in and also on this side besides the basket again i picked up the wooden tone with that basket but also i put some this is a uh, eucalyptus but you can use anything you want i like the eucalyptus because it kind of has a smell when i'm taking the shower and truly guys uh, it feels like i'm taking a shower in the nature and i also add this little rug we don't have a lots of rug and this is a amazing way to decorate your home to add warmness if you use a warm tone of rug there's so many square shape so if you can find the balance between the square and the circle shape that will help you to balance the feeling of the space instead of having lots of little plants and other things around here just to have one big one that actually helps to bring it into balance and here comes my next tip is to have little lights everywhere and i can already hear that you saying this is not minimalist but we have big lights everywhere in every single room and this is what we typically use when we look for something or we just generally in that room however when i want to have the cozy atmosphere i really trying to create spots like this one and i really wish that camera could give you back the feeling so if you have created little areas for function like a reading corner or just generally giving some light 
to the dark corners that immediately changes the vibe of the room light is everything is just think about it like the light is different in the morning as the sun comes up and is different during the day and is different at night and that is just shows how much it comes where the light is coming from so uh, a light is always brings a friendliness to the place okay you guys now we are in our bedroom and i'm going to show you what does it looks like before we implemented the wooden tone So we have two pots of plants so we covered with the plants in that area and we have the wooden tone with a little bit of a green in it and also and this is another thing that I want to point out for you guys especially to those of you who loves color because if you are a minimalist that doesn't mean you can't enjoy the colors but if you are same as me that I get visually distracted very easily and overwhelmed very easily I find that if I have one color that I pick that I really love and I just go with one color instead of going crazy with all of the colors that I like but if I just go with one tone that gives a personality to the room and it's just a splash of a color it helps to make it more personalized and just more friendly and this is the other thing um, since we decorating with a more minimal style that we don't spend as much money on buying decorations as itself but we are putting more effort to find a more unique light and that applies here too i sort of think that this is a decoration for the room and so instead of buying more decor items we're just trying to decorate itself with the things that we must have to have so I had to come back to the kitchen to show you that actually the light has a statement in this room as well. Before the slides, it wasn't that homey and, and didn't have that cozy uh, feeling. But now with the slides, it's kind of like almost like a decoration. So the textures actually helping to draw the eyes to something. If you have a very simple room, because that's what you're aiming for you want to have a very soothing simple room yet you want something that would be interesting in there or pleasing to the eye you can go with a rug that is interesting or it has a different type of texture and same with pillows or a blanket just pick one and decide which one you want to have more texture to it because that would be crazy if everything has a texture but if you pick one that will give an interest to your home so that would be in nutshell the things that i used and methods to make our home cozy and is the most cozy when the kids are at home i would say but these are the things that we did when we tried to, to create uh, our home thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye